Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss the future of Rafale aircraft, the Rafale F-5 standard. Even though the FCAS, or the future air combat system, is now in the process of being created, France is developing Rafales with hypersonic, stealth missiles as well as sophisticated communications. While FCAS is scheduled to arrive around 2040, which now looks delayed, the Rafale does not aim to retire to the hangar quietly. Recently France ordered 42 Rafale F-4 standard fighter aircraft. With the implementation of this Tranche 5 order, there would be 234 French Rafales overall. Dassault Aviation is developing a new version of this French combat aircraft. Logically, it should be called the Rafale F-5 standard. Dassault teams were to begin planning the Rafale at the F-5 level in 2023, with the launch scheduled for 2026 to 2027. It will be better networked and equipped with cyber combat gear. Features will be used to limit the plane's visibility to radar, often known as stealth capability. We will talk about this a bit later. France will also have to develop the new Rafale standard to guarantee the continuity of the airborne component of its nuclear deterrent, which will be based on the ASN-4G hypersonic ramjet missile over the next decade. According to Emmanuel Chiva, Delegate General pour Alarmement or DGA, as reported by a French publication Zone Militaire, it will take 10 to 15 years for ASN-4G to be integrated into the new generation combat aircraft, which will be based on FCAS concept. Hence, this requires the new Rafale standard to be capable of credible air defense penetration, at least till 2060. General Laurent Rataud, Deputy Chief of Staff for Program Plans of the French Air Force in Space, in a parliamentary report published in 2021, said that the Rafale will then have to deal with the most efficient ground-to-air defense systems and operate in extremely scrambled environments. It means, the new Rafale will be provided with means of electronic warfare and navigational warfare, as well as possibly effective means of suppressing enemy air defense. Logically, it means that it will be an advanced version of the Spectra system currently on the Rafales. In the short term, the French Air and Space Force and Naval Aviation will operate Rafale F-4 with the first generation of connectivity standards. The Rafale F-5 will be equipped with the future standards for connectivity. According to General Stephen Mill, Chief of Staff of the French Aerospace Force, during a 2023 parliamentary session on the nuclear deterrent, it will enable data exchange between different types of aircraft, including fighters and support aircraft. Nonetheless, considerable changes to the Rafale will be required. According to Air Chief, when the F-5 standard is implemented, the plane will look drastically different. The radar, electronic countermeasures, and computer required for connectivity will all have been modified. He noted that the computer capabilities needed to analyze hundreds of thousands of data necessitate wiring that the Rafale, as it is presently, cannot sustain. He also mentioned that several Rafale standards, the F-4 and F-5, would coexist, which would be fine because the complementarity of methods is its strength, with each Rafale standard having its benefits. He said that this would not be an issue. In addition, the ASN-4G should be significantly bigger than the present Air Sol Moyen Porti Amelior or ASMPA or Air Ground Medium Range Upgraded, implemented by the Rafale B of the Strategic Air Forces and the Rafale M of the Nuclear Naval Air Force. Indeed, it is a large missile, emphasized General Mill. It remains to be seen what impact this will have on the Rafale's F-5 standard, which, as indicated by Air Force's No. 2 General, Frederick Parasat, will be equipped with an astounding array of capabilities, some of which one cannot yet imagine. I am now coming to the stealth aspect, as mentioned above. The engine blades have been shrunk so that they cannot be seen from the front, and the trailing edges on the wings will further lessen the radar echo. According to Dassault, stealth will exist, but only at the level of weaponry. The Rafale F-5 could be fitted with stealthy subsonic missiles. Moreover, if the plane's speed remains around Mach 1.8, it may also carry hypersonic missiles. In air-to-surface munitions, the replacement of the scalp and the AM-39 Exocet is being planned, according to a document issued by Dassault and signed by Guillaume Reboul, Rafale Program Director for the French Procurement Agency DGA. For the latter, Two vastly different technical alternatives are being researched in close collaboration with the British, a maneuverable hypersonic device and a highly nimble subsonic stealth missile. There is currently no agreement on these two concepts. In the past, Dassault revealed that the F-5 could use drone effectors and remote weapons. In simple words, it means manned and unmanned aircraft teaming. 
It means that the crew will be able to handle swarms of drones and remotely trigger their firing. Certain FCAS technologies, such as stealth and others, will be developed from the Neuron Unmanned Aircraft Project and some from Rafale F-5, which will be compatible with the future air combat system. Now, let's sum it up. Dassault is developing the Rafale F-5 standard, which includes increased networking, cyber combat capabilities and measures to handle issues such as ground-to-air defense systems. Stealth is being addressed structurally, but mostly at the weapon level, to counter the conventional argument that weapons in the bay boost stealth. To understand more about Rafale stealth capabilities, we have included the link in the description, and we will also add it at the end of the video. The F-5 will also incorporate the ASN-4G hypersonic ramjet missile to ensure that the aircraft's air defense penetration capability is credible until at least 2060, with upgrades including stealthy subsonic missiles and possibly hypersonic missile capabilities. Do you think Rafale F-5 standard will be relevant in the age of stealth? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.